2025 Science CBT. Hi Pep Stars, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Science CBT questions that you can use to help you to prepare for your 2025 Science Curriculum Based Test Examination. So let's get straight into it because these examinations are right around the corner. <coughs> The diagram below shows a type of environment. Use the information to answer item one. What term best describes the type of environment shown in the diagram? So from the diagram, we can see that it is neither grassland or rainforest. We can choose between aquatic and wetland. wetland. With aquatic environments, these environments are usually like seas and oceans and usually has salt water with wetlands these are inundated with water for most of the year and this is like a mangrove or a morass so the correct answer would have been wetland let's move on to number two Human activities have led to more effects of climate change felt by Caribbean territories. Which of these events in the Caribbean is not likely to be a consequence of climate change? So, would that be average temperatures are higher in June than January? The hurricane season lengthens into December, there are longer and more frequent droughts. There are larger and more frequent floods. From B to C, these are all effects of climate change. Yes, you have the hurricane season length into December. It usually stops in November. And we can see or experience that in the years that have passed um there are more and longer droughts and they are larger and more frequent floods the average temperature are higher in june than january this is because the caribbean is located in a tropical climate and that's why we are experiencing that it's not necessarily because of climate change. So the correct answer is A. Let's look at number three. The pie chart shows the category of waste collected from Jamaican household. Use the information to answer item three. And we can see the pie chart there from the NSWMA waste categories. So NSWMA has suggested that portions of waste that can be disposed should be composite, composited. What percentage of waste should be composited? So... A compost is organic materials that are broken down to form organic matter in the soil. So anything that's organic that can break down usually can be a part of a compost. So wood and grass clippings and also food waste like the peelings from the, the foods that are, are used in the kitchen such as yam, banana, all of those that are typically food waste and those can also be composted. So we can look at those two percentages and see what the total would have been. So we have 37 and 16 and that would have been 53. So the correct answer is C which is 53. And as again, these can be easily composted because they are easily or readily disposable, decomposable. 
Let's move on to number four. Earth has warmed by 0 0.6 degrees over the past 100 years. Scientists ex estimate that the average temperature of the Earth will increase by 2 to 5 degrees in the next 30 years. Which two of these activities can help to slow down the warming of the Earth? And that would be A, to take public transportation instead of driving car as this reduces fossil fuel. So we can carpool and also changing all the lights to LED. This also reduces energy consumption and those are means of reducing factors that cause climate change. Let's move on to number five. Hot water systems use a lot of energy in households. Which type of hot water system contribute least to global warming? And that would be solar. So a lot of persons are switching from your typical electrical unit to solar system because these are contributing to less global warming. So we couldn't have wood because although it's not a fossil fuel burning enough wood will contribute to an increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and that is also something that is not required let's move on to number six the diagram below shows the same section of a coral reef over a period of 20 years use the information to answer item six so we can see the before coral reef and we see the after of the coral reef. Which two activities would likely be responsible for the changes seen in the coral reefs after 20 years? Is that coastal development and construction, improper dumping of garbage, overfishing and slash, of burn, slash and burn. Coastal development and overfishing damages the coastal, the coral reefs. So the damage from the coastal construction and fishes practices are the main threats to the coral reef. Let's look at number seven. A student measure the time it takes for water to pass through different soil samples. The diagram of the experiment is shown below. Use the information to answer items seven and eight. What should students do to make sure the results are accurate? So, to ensure accuracy in any results, it is often advised to check the results by measuring it multiple times, right? Because what this does is that repeating the measurement helps to ensure accuracy and reliability of the results in a scientific investigation. So if you did it first and it gave you one result, if you did it back again and it gave you the same result, then that shows that the result that you got initially was more likely consistent and that is the current result now all of the questions that we're looking at right now is from the environment category so we can look at other questions from light and sound and materials all of these will be coming on the examination this video however targets the environmental questions so it's not a broad spread of questions from different topic area but it mostly focuses on the units of the environment so let's look at number eight the table shows the results of the student's investigation use the information to answer item a table showing the volume of water and the time it taken for time taken for different soil so there in the table, we're seeing the different types of soil, clay, loam, and sand, and the volume of water added to the soil, which is all the same as 30 centimeters cube. And the volume of water collected in the cylinder differentiates from the different types of soil with sand collecting the most and clay 
the lease and the time for the water to pass through the funnel with signed taking the least number of minutes which is one minute and clay taking the most right so circle the letter that completes the conclusion made water takes longer to pass through and we just analyze that and say that that would be clay and dash has the least water holding capacity of all the soil sample and that would be sand so that's a and c So, so with the least water holding capacity will allow most of the water to pass through and this was shown in the investigation let's move on to number nine the body temperatures of different animals in hot and cold environments are shown in the table below so we see the body temperatures of the different animals in the environment from the snake, the bobcat, the fish, and the rat, and we see the cold environment and the hot environment, and we see what temperatures were with the cold environment and what the temperature were with the hot environment. With the rat, we noticed that the rat temperatures, the rat temperature did not change, and there was a change in the temperature for the snake and the fish from cold to the hot environment. In the fact that both of them had the same temperature as the environment so the cold environment was 10 degrees celsius and the cat and the fish had that same temperature and for the hot environment the snake and the fish also adapted to that environment so that's something that we could pull from the table so i see them place that snake and a rat in the environment of 25 degrees Celsius, which body temperatures are most likely to have after a few days? So let's look at the results. So what we can say is that B would be the correct answer because the body temperatures of mammals remain fairly constant with changing external environment however the reptile's body temperature usually changed based on the external temperature we can see that for the snake which is a reptile that it had the same like what we noticed here in the table it had the same temperature as the environment that it was in but the rat remained at 38 degrees Celsius which it was in for both of the environments in the table so there you have it those are all the questions from the environment topic our unit and then we will look at the other unit in subsequent videos Thank you for watching and please make sure to stay through all of the videos for the science because we're going to be doing our entire revision that is going to be very helpful to you in your examination. Thank you for watching.